The next fight that we had was Justin James versus Frank Camacho. Um, I had picked Justin James to win. Um, you, I had Camacho winning. I think I had him by uh, decision, maybe. Yeah, I think you. If I remember right, you had him by decision. No, I had Camacho winning a knockout in round two, but he ended up getting knocked out in the first round. Which is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Justin James was throwing some bombs. Like he may not be the most technical striker, um, but I had watched a couple of his fights, and he seems to throw these punches that hit, and they land where he's looking. They might not be the cleanest looking, but they're, they're powerful, and they land where he's throwing them. I don't get it. He just lands. Just one of those guys that just knocks him out. Yeah, hits hard. He's a brawler, man. He came in on short notice, too. Yeah, he came in on short notice, too, because Camacho's previous opponent had to back out because his manager had tested positive tested, for coronavirus. Yep, tested positive for the coronavirus, and that was what puts you leaning towards Camacho, correct? Yeah. Plus, this was it's, Justin it's James' really first rare, fight like, in the UFC. Like, if you look at the fight we were talking about earlier, the guy, five days notice. Yeah. I mean, this one was only on, like, two or three two. days notice. Yeah, I think this was two. <laughs> but, but I mean, when you get those guys that come in on really, really short notice, they're not typically in peak physical condition. And Camacho, I believe he went through a full camp for this fight. So Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. So that's kind of where my head was at is like, ah, it's hard to pick, pick a new guy. But, you know, sometimes I think it's a mentality thing, too. You get those guys, they get their call and that opportunity, and they just take advantage of it. It doesn't even matter. Time, well, place, anyway.